In building a chatbot, uh, we often face a situation where the bot needs to be able to answer both short-tailed as well as long-tailed questions. Uh, and when you're using Watson, the services that you'd be using is Watson Conversation to answer short-tailed questions and Watson Discovery Service for answering long-tailed questions. And uh, what you're seeing right now is a typical architecture that we have been proposing for uh, such kind of parts, right? where you have uh, the UI, uh, you have the orchestration engine that actually orchestrates, makes the first call to conversation when somebody asks a question and if a conversation can answer it, that answer goes back. If it cannot, then the orchestration engine then passes the question to discovery, considering that to be a long tail question and then the answer is then passed back. So as you can see here, there is one extra hop here. Uh, typically, a lot of the clients, and we have seen the situation where, uh, you know, they have asked us if it is possible to do uh, long tail questions in this manner without having to build a orchestration engine in between, right? So would it be possible for conversation? Would it be great if conversation were able to, uh, depending upon whether the question is short-tailed or long-tailed, if it is not able to answer it, then it can automatically call discovery, uh, find the right response, and then send it back to the UI. So that was something that was not possible, but as of December, with the new capability uh, introduced into Watson Conversation, uh, which is the ability to call out, make call-outs uh, to IBM functions uh, via through from the uh, Watson dialog service itself. So let me show you how that can be done. So first, uh, so this is this is what is the capability, right? This is making programmatic calls from a dialog mode. So I'm going to show you an example of how that a, a call a, a a dialog node can call a service, for example, what's in discovery service, to get an answer. Um, let's take a quick look at the uh, at the code here. But before that, let me quickly show you what an action is. This is this is the IBM functions. So here, what you're doing here is creating an action and exposing it as uh, as a callable service right a small piece of code this is all based on open uh, technology so i've created a small node.js space and you can use do it in python uh, and in other languages as well um, so here is a very simple piece of code all it is doing is it's expecting some input parameters take a very simple microservice right so it's taking a some input parameters uh, in, as you can see here, environment ID, collection ID, because I need to make to be able to make a call to Watson Discovery service. So it needs to know which collection and which environment you want to make that call to to fetch the information. So I then prepare that from using the input, prepare the call uh, using a REST API get call, and then find the response and then return return it back to the caller. So this is, as you can see here, very simple service, and now I've exposed this. So I'm going to test it out here, and then I can see here that I've created, you can even test it out here. I'm sending these parameters in as the input, uh, and then when I test it out, you can see the output right here. Let's just give it a minute. Yes, there you go. So I've, as you can see, I've put in a question uh, can a conditional assignee take a loan on the policy or surrender? So this is about very specific to life insurance. Uh, so I have put in a question that I feel is a long tail question and then it goes to discovery and gets a response back. As you can see here, there are a number of possible responses from within its uh, collection. So now let's see how we can implement this, call this action or function a normal a very simple uh, dialog uh, that I've created here but just to demonstrate uh, the conversation call out capability um, so here uh, I have a, a single intent 
and uh, I, uh, if I ask it what is life in insurance right I get a quick response and that response comes from from the dialogue uh, from within the dialogue itself but if I want if I'm asking a long tail question then what I can do with the new capability is actually issue a call out so there is this new uh, new function new uh, parameter uh, within uh, the dialogue mode that can be defined and it's called as actions right and uh, I won't go into the details of the specifics of how uh, what all to specify and that's all specified in the documentation so that's very clear and straightforward but as you can see here I have uh, provided the name of my function that I have created uh, and what type it is is it server or client uh, and then the parameters those are the parameters that we had spe uh, specified when we were making that call so here I provided all the details and then I have provided uh, the, I, I don't specify the text right so this is depending upon what is being asked that question that text is automatically passed into discovery so one other thing that you see here is my credentials the credentials of the discovery service so that is something that would need to be passed in from the client uh, as a you could pass it in as you know a context variable my creds and uh, I have specified that here uh, in this manner user and password uh, and uh, now when I ask that question, uh, if I say can a conditional assignee take loan, this is the long tail question that you know uh, that the discovery service can answer. So if I, if I ask that then it goes as you can see here it's taking some time and it's actually going to discovery and it is coming back this is not nicely formatted but if you have a, a nice UI this would come out as one two three options. So as you can see here, I have provided three possible answers, right? So I say that, you know, it could be the first passage, the second passage, or the third passage. So the first one is, is this one. It's saying uh, it's, uh, the conditional assignee will not be entitled to obtain a loan or policy uh, or surrender the policy. However, this is subject to blah, 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 right? So this is, this is exactly the answer that, you know, we, that possibly answers the question uh, from the user. So as you can see here, it's, it's pretty nice. It's a great capability where I am now able to me issue a call from within, uh, within uh, uh, what's in conversations, dialogue service, and make a call out to uh, discovery. But it's not restricted to discovery, right? If, if you want to say, uh, let's say if it's a, a travel related, a flight booking related bot, and if you want to check out what is the price for a flight from uh, city A to city B, uh, then that can also, uh, if there is, assuming there is a service out there uh, that can provide that information, then you can use this to make a call out to a function which then calls out to that particular flights, airlines, uh, API for pricing. So hopefully this is uh, very useful and uh, I think uh, this is this differentiates what's in conversation quite a bit.